Most of us use a blender without giving thought to how they do the job of cutting food down to size. Like most people, you might assume that the fast spinning blades cut the food directly, but blenders have a secret. Cutting is only important for the first stage of blending. Once the bits of food become small and begin to flow, unseen forces come into play. Truly powerful blenders, like this Waring Extreme, generate hydrodynamic forces that impart the energy needed to turn even the toughest food silky smooth. As the blade sweeps through the fluid at the bottom of a blender, intense shearing forces literally rip particles of food apart. But it's the seemingly benign implosion of bubbles that is truly violent. These forces are normally all but invisible, but using our high-speed camera we can slow time and let you see how blending really works. Initially, the impact of the blades cuts the food directly. This is important because for a blender to work, pieces of food must be small enough to start to flow under the stirring action of the blades. Does it flow? Is the answer to the question, will it blend? A commercial grade blender, like our Waring, has enough power that the impact of its blades can shatter some tough stuff, such as handfuls of whole spices like cinnamon stick, cloves, star anise, and peppercorns into a fine powder. Even a fistful of golf balls can be quickly cut into bits, but at some point, the pieces don't become any smaller for two reasons. As they shrink in size, the chance that the blades will hit them decreases. They've simply become too small a target. The second reason is more fundamental. As the pieces become smaller, it takes exponentially more kinetic energy to break them smaller still. At some point, the blade simply cannot hit the food hard enough. In the next video, we'll explore the hidden forces that do the real work of blending food smooth.